Is scientific visualization an integral part of innovation and problem solving? We think so. Consider a molecule. Apart from being extremely small, molecules move randomly, are highly packed, and follow different rules of gravity and friction. So, it's no surprise that students tend to hold misconceptions about how molecules work within a cell. This is where scientific visualization comes in. Since molecular interactions occur at multiple levels of time and space, dynamic learning tools, like animations, are needed to help students visualize these processes. That sounds like a great idea, but there is still a problem. Existing animated visuals tend to simplify the molecular environment that is normally packed and random, a concept that is crucial to understanding the protein interactions that occur because of it. The truth is, most educators avoid depicting cells this way because they fear that it may overwhelm their students. However, our research suggests otherwise. To find out if visually complex animations have a role in molecular education, we evaluated student learning when presented with varying levels of molecular complexity. Surprisingly enough, we found that varying levels of complexity had no effect on a student's ability to learn basic concepts. In fact, when it came to understanding more abstract concepts, students given animations with complex molecular environments were most successful. This suggests that researchers and educators may not have to sacrifice complexity in order to explain the science. Expanding on this, we are currently producing complex animations that explain a molecular pathway from start to finish. These will be evaluated by undergraduate students before being disseminated at scientific conferences and shared on social media platforms. Okay, so how will this impact Canadians? Students in molecular biology who have a strong understanding of these essential concepts will be able to innovate the way we practice medicine. Engineering drugs for disease, improving how diffusion-weighted MRIs work, and even understanding heart rate patterns after cardiac arrest are all based upon one fundamental concept in molecular biology. Random motion. And it doesn't stop there. Visual communicators have become an integral part of many research teams, solving problems in new and creative ways. The more we understand good instructional design choices, the more we can use them for learning all types of complex and dynamic phenomena.